Rafael Nadal has carved his own place in tennis history. Nadal, though, leads a lavish lifestyle away from the court thanks to the huge sums of money he has amassed as a result of his success there. Stay tuned to know all about it and don't forget to subscribe. Rafael has earned a staggering £150 million during his remarkable career, and more will follow his historic victory in Australia. He spent almost £3 million on a magnificent Mallorcan villa on a coastline in 2013. The superfan of Real Madrid spent big money on a private plane, a £5 million Cessna Citation CJ2 Plus that carries him to competitions all over the world. Nadal's magnificent custom-built 80 sunroof power catamaran, which cost £4.5 million, allows him to go by water as well. He has been supported by insurance agent Maria Francisca Perello throughout his success. The two were wed in 2019 after dating for 14 years, a house with a view. Although Nadal prefers to keep to himself, he allowed us to peek into his magnificent home in the Balearic Islands in 2020 while the country was under lockdown. He paid £3 million for the magnificent beachfront house, which is located in Porto Cristo, Manicor, and measures a little over 1,000 square meters. Before the mansion became a desirable residence, it was said that Nadal spent seven years repairing it and demolishing some of the neighboring buildings. According to what we've seen on Instagram, the design is simple but includes everything Nadal needs. He has a well-stocked gym where he can maintain his physical fitness. He can look out his window at the Mediterranean Sea and beautiful coves whenever he wants. It's time to fly. It's incredible to imagine that in 2010, Nadal attempted to board a flight and economy to the match for Africa before his opponent Roger Federer provided him a ride on his private plane. The 13-time French Open champion resolved to purchase his own aircraft, a 5 million pound Cessna Citation CJ2+, so he wouldn't get caught again. Only 223 of the jets were produced, and maintenance on them costs about £220,000 a year. Eight passengers can travel in comfort on the Cessna Citation CJ2+. Not forgetting what Federer had done for him, Nadal granted Victor Troicki a ride on his jet to London the day after defeating him in the Mercedes Cup final. Later, Troicki tweeted a picture of himself with the former Volt No. 1 and a pilot, thanking Nadal for letting him fly with him. He added, Many thanks to the great champion at Rafael Nadal for offering us a lift to London. They both land in water. In 2019, Nadal exchanged one yacht for another. For a cool $2 million, he sold Beethoven, a 76-foot Italian-built MCY-76 motor yacht. He used that money to purchase a stunning, custom-built 80 sunroof power catamaran for £4.5 million. The 80 sunroof power has two 1,200 HP engines and is designed for lengthy journeys without sacrificing full luxury. It has a private jet ski garage, a 39-foot beam, and a flybridge in the style of a super yacht that provides a spacious living area large enough to house a hot tub, a wet bar, and a waterfall fed pool. Various seating arrangements, an open concept kitchen, and a bar can be made on the main deck, depending on your dining requirements. The main deck's master suite, which also has a view of the ocean, also has a skylight overhead that lets in natural light. There's a desk, a large closet, and a shower in the private bathroom. There are four guest cabins and two crew cabins, and a total of 12 people can stay on board at once. Sharing his life Despite spending the most of his time traveling across the world, Maria, who's 33, is the one constant in his life. She's better known as Chiska Perello, and she has never been one to seek the spotlight or a celebrity lifestyle. Despite the fact that Nadal relished hanging out with Spain's World Cup stars with a trophy in 2010, it's not a world I want to be part of, and I don't think Rafa would have selected a woman who sought that in life, she previously commented. They met in the early 2000s and were fast friends before beginning to date in 2005. They married in a star-studded wedding in front of 350 guests at Mallorca's La Fortaleza Palace in 2019. But you won't see her on the circuit rooting for Rafael. She told The Telegraph in 2011 that he needs his privacy when he's competing and just the thought of me sticking around and attending to his demands all day exhausts me. And that's all for this video. Let's know what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.